In this video, I'll show you how you can add a custom item to the turn order window that will allow you to track the duration of spells and effects and see how long they have left remaining. So just to illustrate what this looks like, my cleric Cassandra here has just cast Bless. And now, as we go through the turn order, you see the Bless spell automatically decreases down to nine rounds remaining, then eight, and so on. So every round that we advance through, the duration of the Bless spell decreases by one. So how do we do this? Well, there are two ways I'm going to show you. The first can be used for any Roll20 account, regardless of its free, plus, or pro. And then I'll also show you an API script that you can use, so those of you who have pro accounts will be able to create macros to do this for you as well. But all you need to do is in the turn order window, click on this gear icon, and then in the add custom item section, just type the name of the thing you want to track. So we'll go with the bless spell again. And this field here, I currently have set to minus one. That means whatever value I give the bless spell, I want it to drop by one every time we go through the round. So a bless spell will last for one minute, assuming your caster maintains concentration. And that's 10 rounds in game time. So we're going to start out with a value of 10, and then we're going to decrease down all the way down to zero. Now, you notice there's nowhere in this screen to enter the starting value. So what we're going to do is just click Add right here. That puts the Bless spell into the turn order. I'm going to just click on this. I'll give it a value of 10. And there we go. That's it. Now, we're going to run through the turn order. The Bless spell automatically decreases in value. And we just keep going every round until it gets down to zero. And then at that point, once it is zero, you can just delete it by hovering over it and clicking the trash can icon. So that's all there is to that. Now, how do we do that via an API? Okay, well, the script that you're going to want to use for this is called ACT. And this one is not part of the Roll20 library. So I'm going to put a link down in the description of where you can get it. And if you haven't installed a script like this before, I'm going to pop a card up in the top right of the screen there so you can uh, see another video that I did that shows you how to install that sort of script. But the syntax for this is really simple. It's exclamation point, ACT, then the increase or decrease value. So we're going to go minus one again. The starting value, so we'll start out at 10, and then two dashes and whatever you want to call this thing. So let's do, you know, the blessed spell again. And since this is kind of small, I'm just going to zoom in on it real quick so you can get a better look at that. So again, ACT, the increase or decrease value, the starting value, and then the name of the thing. We'll just go ahead and press enter. And there we go. You see the blessed spell is there. It put it at the top of the turn order this time. And actually, I want it down at the bottom because I want everybody to go through. So I'm just going to drag it down there, and there we go. And that's it. You can use this for many different purposes. You know, the Bless spell is, is one use, of course, but if you needed to track how long a character had been poisoned for, or if you have an ASMR character and you want to track how long their Radiant Soul ability has been active, you can use these custom items for all sorts of purposes like that. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.